What is up, y'all? Back again, this time with the Three Stooges disordering the court. And if you can, type in in the chat what year you think that this particular episode came out. So, with that being said, let's get to it. Yes, talker. What is your name? Gail Tempest. What is your occupation? I'm a dancer. On the night of February the 13th, were you working at the Black Bottom Cafe when this murder was committed? Yes, but I didn't do it. Then who killed Kirk Robin? I don't know. Didn't you kill Kirk Robin? I object, Your Honor, and ask that the last question be stricken from the records. It is merely an attempt to influence this intelligent, broad-minded, and most intellectual jury. <laughs> Intellectual. Objection sustained. Thank you, Your Honor. That is all. Quiet, Polly. <laughs> if it please the court, Your Honor, at this time I would like to introduce my three main witnesses, Howard, Fine, and Howard. <clears throat> And they're, they're not even around. Three stooges. They on lunch. They were here a minute ago. <laughs> Will you pardon me, Your Honor? I'll be right back. <laughs> they're in the lobby. Or wherever. What's the idea of spoiling the game? I was for onesies. Well, here's twosies. Oh, oh. He was a onesies? You get him to... Uh, here's fivesies. Oh. Smack Gentle the mess out of him. Oh, my gosh. Life is at stake? Oh, oh <laughs> 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 Don't try, Curly. <clears throat> Will you gentlemen please try to be a little more quiet in the court? Certainly, Judgey. The gate is locked. <laughs> Would you please step forward? No, no, no. Prepare yourself for the witness box. <laughs> oh my God! She's the guy who he's talking to. Take off your hat. I'll raise your right hand. <laughs> I'll place your left hand here. Take off your hat. <laughs> raise your right hand. I'll put your left hand here. Please take off your hat. <laughs> raise your right hand. <laughs> now put your left hand here. Will you please take off your hat? Raise your right hand. Now put your left hand here. Take off your hat. Raise your right hand. Will you get rid of that hat? If you put it Raise on. Raise your right hand. <laughs> Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, all the truth, and nothing but the truth? Huh? Do you solemnly swear to tell us who told you that nothing but the truth? He's rapping to him. <laughs> Are you trying to give me the double talk? <laughs> I don't blame him. Do you him, man. solemnly swear to tell us who told you that nothing but the truth? Why don't you answer him? <laughs> he's talking pig Latin. I don't know what he's saying. He's asking you if you swear. No, but I know all the words. He's asking you if you'll swear to tell the truth. This guy. The truth is stranger than fiction, Judgey Wudgey. <laughs> Kindly address this court as your honor and take the oath. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth that has been the truth? Certainly. What have I got to lose? <laughs> Where did I put it? 
no, no. Only Take curls. Stand. I got it. Now what will I do with it? Sit down. But guys. <laughs> Say, what's the matter with you? Sit down. I'm a victim of circumstance. Uh, okay. Oh, you're gone. Be quiet. Mm. Proceed with the case. <laughs> Were you in the Black Bottom Cafe on the night of February the 13th? Certainly. Did you at that time see the defendant, Miss Gail Tempest, in any way, shape, or form, commit or try to That's commit bodily too. harm to the deceased... Kirk Robin? I object, Your Honor. Counsel's trying to lead the witness. Objection sustained. I tick tick all this chair. Mr. Howard, did you <laughs> see Miss Gail Tempest in physical fight with Kirk Robin? If it pleases the court, may I suggest that counsel be in support of the witness to testify to what <laughs> he saw? I say, Jasper, uh, what comes after 75? 76. That's the spirit. <laughs> Way to play it off. <laughs> Request granted. Proceed with the testimony. Mr. Howard, kindly tell the court what you know about the murder of Kirk Robin. Well, it was like this, Mr. Court. Address the judge as your honor. Well, it was like this, my honor. Your honor, not my honor. Why? Don't you like him? Allow the witness to proceed. The court understands him. Thanks, Cordy. You're a pal. <laughs> Say thanks, Cordy. Well, me and my pals, we're musicians. We were tearing up some hot swing music in the orchestra. Gail over there was swinging the fans. Her sweetie, Kirk Robin, was inhaling a bottle of hooch at a table. And a hoofer by the name of Buck Wing was getting ready to shake his tootsies. Kindly speak English and drop the vernacular. Vernacular? That's a doiby. Drop the vernacular. No, no, not that. Talk so the jury can understand. Is everybody dumb? Say, Judgey, if you let me, my partner, and Gailey kind of act it out for you, we'll show you just what happened. If counsel doesn't object, that's an excellent idea. No objections. No objections. No objections. <laughs> okay, Gailey. They're like, what? They're look at him. What? Right. Look, it's too pale. A tarantula. Said <laughs> a tarantula. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh my god. A field mouse. That's this dude's toupee all of. Five good slugs in this toupee. Oh, superstitious, eh? Oh, vice I kid. Gentlemen, you must control your killing instincts. Proceed with the testimony, please. Proceed. Hot, <laughs> hey, Larry. Listen. 
after he did it. <laughs> you got it. You know Please it's over now. You know it's over now. And continue. Now Gailey's dance was over. Oh. I stuck my head in the office door and I saw Craig Robin and Buck Wing arguing over by the parrot cage. What were they arguing about? I don't know, but Buck Wing was sizzling like a hot hamburger. He grabs Kirk by the neck like that, see? And drags him over to the letter press, <laughs> see? <laughs> then he smacks him on the head like that. <laughs> then he pokes his coconut into the letter press, see? Like that. Then he says, I'll squeeze the cider out of your Adam's apple. Then he gives him the works like this. <laughs> and he keeps turning and twisting. <laughs> He's just messing him up. Uh, oh, Rocky. Frustrating go. How could Gail Tempest's frail little finger pull the rusty trigger of that instrument of destruction? See, there was nothing in it. Oh! <laughs> oh. Do you like that? Broad Lane, 9972. Oh, <laughs> five o'clock. She kind of gave out her phone number. <laughs> <laughs> We both did ties. Starts Where playing you throw with it. That gum away? Look, I got rid of it. Just. <laughs> Off me, <laughs> knock out the whole poor girl <laughs> one by one. Oh, my Stradivarius! Oh, my beautiful Stradivarius! Grab your ear. Come on. <laughs> We 
get him now. Let's get some salt and put it on his tail. That's no way to get a parrot. You gotta wet his feather so he can't fly. Oh, don't do nothing till you hear from me. Come on. Give me a hand. Wait a minute. Hold it. What do you mean? What is wrong with them? I object your honor. These <laughs> proceedings, this courtroom. Hmm. What's the idea? <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Give me that hole. We gotta get the parrot. Hey, you. Let's to pay off again. <laughs> Got him. Now they can get some answers. Got free. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here, just a second now. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Just a second now. Get it. Now, ready? Get it tired of that. Hold it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the Three Stooges Disorder in the Court. You see, Curly, Larry, and Moe are some loonies. So, till next time, check me out. Peace.